everyone, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> and today, firstly, I want to apologise about the lighting. Uh, two of my mini ring lights are broken, but thankfully I'll be able to replace them today, as the time of recording. So tomorrow, lighting will be back to normal. But unfortunately, today, yeah, we're going to have to deal with this. Sorry, everyone. But today, I do have my thoughts on the second half of Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 2. Because as we know, the SAG after strike started literally halfway through the season, after literally the day after Episode 5 came out. So I was just able to get my thoughts out on Episode uh, on episode 1 to 5. But as for Episode 6 to 10, there were a lot of good ones. Three have definitely stuck in my mind since they premiered, and they are the seventh episode, which was the Lower Decks crossover, which I found thoroughly entertaining, even though I've never really watched Lower Decks. Um, it didn't really require you to have an understanding of the show to get all the jokes, because a lot of the jokes were relating to Star Trek of the past. So I got a lot of those references, because it was referencing stuff that I have watched, like The Next Generation, and of course Strange New Worlds, and one particular one that really stands out to me, as just absolutely hilarious, was the moment when Boimler found the um, rocking horse and did the Riker manoeuvre and just casually said, Riker! That one made me howl like crazy. I love that part. And when he said, in, I swear on Worf's honour, and just cringely thought, mm, shouldn't have said that either. Yeah, he um, wasn't very good at keeping the future to himself at all. And then, of course, the reference to the NX-01 Enterprise was really cool, even showing that they had a little piece of the hull in engineering, which I thought was just so cool, because I love Enterprise, and see it referenced again after nearly <laughs> uh, 19 years since its cancellation. Yikes. I'm so happy to see that it was finally referenced and given a, a bit of respect that it's been kind of lacking for a long time. Um... Because I do love the sh I do love that show, but this show, Strange New Worlds, is really showing what a Star Trek prequel can be. But yeah, Episode Ten was a massive highlight for me. But alongside Episode Seven, as I said, was Episode Nine, which was Subspace Rhapsody. And as the rampant rumors were suggesting, it was indeed a musical. And I've got to say, it was amazing. I loved it. Every song was hit after hit after hit. They didn't make a single bad song in this, which they could have very easily done, really. But they didn't, and all the songs were just banger after banger, and I loved them. And I do like that Kirk was there for this episode, too, because, yes, we, of course, saw Captain Kirk again a couple of times throughout the season. Well, the, the future Captain Kirk. I believe he's currently a commander, which is pretty cool. So he's close. Close to being captain, but not quite there yet. But did reference the fact that if he does make captain... It will be thanks to the crew of the Enterprise, and that will be the case in more ways than one. Because as we know, the Enterprise will be his ship, which I just can't wait to see happen. And of course, the final episode of two, 2 was an absolute standout for me. It was of course a return of the Gorn from Season 1. Such a cool thing that was kind of built up in the first episode as potential threat to the Federation later on. And of course... We saw the crew of the USS... Oh, I forgot what the ship's called, but um, Captain Pike's girlfriend's ship, it was another Constitution class, if I remember rightly, was attacked by the Gorn on a planet that was made to resemble 19... I think it was 1950s Midwest America. And I've got to be honest, it looked really cool. The planet was obviously a Federation colony, and it did look really cool. Um, and at the start of the episode, I saw a red shirt, and he had a Scottish accent. My eyebrows shot up. And then at the end of the episode, we saw him again. Lieutenant Junior Grade Montgomery Scott. Yep, they've introduced Scotty. Way earlier than I was expecting. I screamed when I heard his name. I was just so happy. And what does he do almost immediately? Heads to the Enterprise. So he's already on board. And with his um, being destroyed, the USS Stardiver, I think it was, is he going to join the crew already? Is he going to become a junior engineer under Commander Pellier, who he does know from the Academy, as she was his teacher in engineering, which is just so cool to me. 
But of course, that also does only leave two original series cast members left to introduce, and potentially Chekhov if they do that. And of course, those two are Bones and Sulu. Those could come very soon, maybe even in season three, which is due to start filming in, I think it's the 11th of December. <clears throat> but I just can't wait to see how this all goes now. Um, of course, we've got season three to look forward to, as I just said. Do I think we'll see Bones and Sulu this soon? I hope so. I'd love to have the full TOS cast up to season one together. And if we get a cameo from Cadet Chekhov at some point, I will be beyond happy. Of course, that will have to be quite late on into Strange New World's run. Maybe like, I don't know, apps, uh, season four, perhaps? Maybe even season five, because we know Starfleet Academy takes about four years to get through. So at that point uh, in season five, uh, Chekhov would be a, a, a first year cadet. So we may get a cameo from him somehow, but I do think that they are probably just going to stick to everyone except for Chekhov. So Kirk, Sulu, Scotty, Bones, Uhura, and Spock. And of course, we've got two thirds of that already. Just need Bones and Sulu now, and hopefully they show up soon. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for my thoughts on Strange New Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 2, Part 2. So, please give this video a like. Subscribe to my and Roxanne's channel. So, link's down in the description. Last button is down there. Please click those and then the bell icons to get both sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? Let me know what you thought of this season, and how do you think the cliffhanger that we, were, that we were left on in the last episode will be dealt with in the next season? And how long do you think it'll take for Chekhov, Bones and Sulu to be introduced? Again, for Bones and Sulu, I'm not thinking very long. Potentially season three, maybe season four. And, Su and um, Chekhov, probably in season five or six. Also, please follow me on my social medias. They'll be down in the link tree in the description below. That's going to be Roxanne's website. And lastly, please do share this video with all of your friends so they can join the Infinite Loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. Ooh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video with some better lighting. Goodbye!